you want to know what it is? Information. Remember, Information. all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, Nigel if you're on things. How you doing? How you keeping? Hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. It was about seven days ago I was sitting at my computer thinking about making a video. I had that tickling feeling behind the back of my nose. You know the one just before you sneeze. And boy did I. About 20 minutes solid I was sneezing. Then all of a sudden my nose started to run. And it was running that fast I thought it was doing a marathon. I actually thought at one stage I would have to call a plumber because I was leaking. Yeah, at any rate... I'm thinking to myself, this could possibly be hay fever. The back door's open, the sky was blue, well, silvery blue with the touch of chemtrails, and the neighbours were cutting the grass. Never having hay fever before, and really wouldn't know what it's all about, that's what I thought it was. Another half an hour went past, and I was getting this sore throat, and I was feeling worse and worse, just like the flu. It come on very, very quickly. Oh, thanks for asking. I'm feeling a lot better now. But, uh, yeah, still got a bunged up nose. Now, the only other thing I can think of, it's possibly to do with chemtrails. And, of course, we can now prove they exist. At one time, we were called conspiracy theorists. There's still many people out there that think what you're looking at in the sky is water vapour. For all those people that don't believe in geoengineering or chemtrails, I've just started a new company. It's called Dehydrated Water. A bottle of powdered water, and just to get you started, I've got a sachet of condensation. I'll leave my email address in the box down below. A thousand large, and you're in. What I'll do, I'll drop some links in the description box down below. You know, like the Rhode Island Bill. Don't forget what you're looking at is a legal document. Makes some very interesting reading if you haven't seen it before. And also, you might be surprised what you might find. Geoengineering.org, a great source of information for many different things. And they've also got 6,000 weather modification patents. We can actually call those weather warfare patents because they, yes, they used to control the weather. But now they don't. I think something else is now controlling our weather. But of course, I'm a conspiracy theorist, and that's exactly what I would say. The reason they're chemtrailing, or so we've been told, is because they're geoengineering. Climate change, because you burn your dinners, you're outside having barbecues, and the cows in the field fart, produce methane, and that increases the heat in our atmosphere. And that's the only reason it's happening. Don't forget there's 8 billion people on this planet and we are going to have an effect. But not in the way they say. As a human species, we've broken this planet. We've actually destroyed this. Well, yeah, we've annihilated this planet. But what they're doing, fighting global climate change with chemtrails, well, no. What they're doing, I believe, is hiding things in the sky, turning the sky into a great big one-way mirror. So you've got no chance of seeing what's behind those clouds. And of course, they wouldn't lie to us, our governments, none of them. I mean, look at 9-11. Oh, that wasn't a conspiracy? Oh, I must be wrong then. The 31st of March, 2019, Sunday. Time is 6.22, 35 seconds. The sun is starting to set. I need to show you the sky. We're looking at one of the cameras from work, hence why you can't see some of the picture there. The sky wasn't what I call blue, but uh, as you see is what I saw. Apart from that object there, which we call our sun, this was intensely red. But the camera sees it in a different manner and a different way. So what I'm going to do is zoom in. I'm not very thoughtful about where I pop actually place the camera you'll understand why in a second but i do move it what you see is what you get i haven't put any filters or absolutely done anything to this at all of course what we're looking at is the sun behind a cloud and that's all it can be 
but what color is that meant to be? Like I said, when I was looking at this object, it was red, but the camera sees it as white, yellow, and red. Look at the color of the sky. It actually looks, well, you make your own minds up. There are a lot of people have been talking about this false horizon, a curtain of light, like maybe a pair of curtains to hide where the horizon is, maybe to hide objects in the background. And we saw this over the past couple of years and we're getting to see this again. It's starting to happen. Weird color suns. Now, why would that be? I've shown you many different pictures from different people and many different videos all over the world of many different things. And we could really misconstrue what we look at as camera abnormalities, lens flares, or even broken cameras. Now there's a thought. Or, yeah, just things in general that you could possibly explain away. I think we can do much better than that. I think I can do much better than that. I think I can put everything on the table and just prove to you that there is something there. What a very strange effect. Of course, that's just a lens flare. And what color is that going? But like I say, I can show you all these different pictures and there are many people out there that will say, oh yeah, this, that, this, that. I do believe personally that we could be very, very logical and scientific about this. Everything that we need to know is right in front of our noses. We've been told everything and I think it'll be very, very simple to put a video together and show you just in black and white what is really going on without the aid of showing you one picture of the sky. Notice this curtain of light that I was talking about, that many people have been talking about the false horizon. The horizon's way down here, but uh, this object we call our sun is disappearing behind whatever that may be. Of course, that's just clouds, but it seems to be happening more and more and more. And talking of our sun, I've got something very, very interesting for you to have a look at and make you wonder, because what I'm just about to show you, well, we can verify and look at our sun just disappear. Look at the color of the sky. Absolutely normal. Of course, like I say, these are clouds, but if they can hide the sun, they can hide anything behind that cloud. Of course they can. I forgot to mention, if you sent me any emails, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I've done a few today. Uh, unfortunately, I am backlogged. So really showing pictures without any proof or verification doesn't prove that there's anything in the sky because what I'm showing and what many other people are showing, it could be misconstrued as many different objects or many different things or many different abnormalities. Faulty cameras, of course they are. But if we can see something and we can verify that something, even if it was a few years ago, it makes it worthwhile. The 9th of May 2016 with Paul Cox, a sleuth astronomer, and that was easy for me to say. And I'll leave the links to this in the description box down below. It's the transit of Mercury. Some of you may actually remember this when he makes a statement to the whole world saying this. Let me play the video. And uh, you can see there, the sun is on the left. You can see the small black dot, which is just to the right of center of the sun. That is the tiny orb of Mercury. Mercury, you now know so many interesting and fascinating facts from slew astronomer Bob Berman. You'll be able to tell all your friends. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is that large round thing to the right of the sun? Well, that's our second sun. I don't know if you knew that we had a, a second sun, but uh, there it is. Uh, it's normally hidden from view. Uh, NASA and other organizations, they usually hide that stuff away from us. They don't tell us the truth, but you know, there it is. It's true. Uh so as you can see, he was talking about a second sun and many people said what we're looking at is a lens flare. Of course, that's exactly what it was because nobody could prove anything else until we got this verified. Now, Crow777, and I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box down below. 
actually made a video and he posted it the other day the second sun that we do not see proven and real which actually verifies what we've just watched because when crow took the video it was in 2016 spring and what he does is actually go searching for our second sun and actually finds it but yet still that could be misconstrued as something else without verification again and he actually has that footage you may want to go and have a look the second sun in the spring of 2016 that i discovered the double sun there's the sun we see with our eyes i'm still scanning around i'm going to scan back over and find the other object for the first time there it is top of frame this is the sun we do not see with our eyes so please go over watch the rest of the video and share the love hit that like button three people verifying the same object in our sky that leads me to believe what we're looking at is definitely there a number of questions we've got to ask 2019 this is the year now whereabouts is that red object that's what you've got to ask yourself is that the object that's causing all the red sunsets and sunrises and the moon to be red when it shouldn't be is that what's causing major changes in our earth is that the red conchina is that the red spinning lens flare that me and many other people around the world are capturing at this moment and is that the object that's causing our sun to go into a grand solar minimum hey many many questions but no answers unfortunately where is that object now is that the object that comes through our solar system every 12,000 years and causes devastation like I say we have no answers but we do have proof that there is something there that's all I've got for you now much love much peace and I'll catch you next time take care